This is Orange Park Acres. We moved here about 30 years ago. I grew up in uh, Westminster, and that was quite a while ago. Uh, there were dirt roads and dairies and bean farms, and my dad always did gardening, so I followed him around. And so I've been gardening ever since, and we had chickens in the yard and ducks, so I've always had chickens in the yard. My daughter lives next door with two grandkids, and just two blocks away, my son with two grandkids. So we're always sharing, and I, they come over here and help me harvest. They're learning so much, and probably I didn't realize it until later in life, because I've just done what my parents have done. Following my dad around, and he always had a compost going, so I was doing things not on purpose. But then I, I took some college classes, and uh, took some ecology classes, and found out uh, some of the things you could do on purpose, like the little solar oven, and there's all kinds of things that you can add to it. The hottest I've had it is 350, and I've taken it to the desert and put beans in it, to, like baked beans, to cook slow all day. And then um, here in the backyard, I'm going to have the kids pick some herbs. I've got uh, mint, and I've got water that's been in there heating up. And then we're going to add the two together and make a little tea out of it. And I also have from, a, I rescued some bees, and they gave me a bunch of a huge amount of limes, gorgeous limes. So we're going to put limes and uh, mint in our tea. I grow a lot of herbs in the garden, and I've got thyme and rosemary and basil. So that little solar oven does more than one thing. It not only makes tea and beans, but I can dry out those herbs and reuse uh, the jars that I buy pickles in, or any kind of a jar. Some of them are pretty cute, and I can recycle and repurpose those jars with herbs. In the last eight years, I've got into beekeeping, and so now that's developed into a little business. I have a business partner, and we've got about uh, 70 going on 100 hives, and we're selling our beeswax products and honey at Whole Foods and some other small markets. Um, we have an excess of honey. One, one hive, when it gets to be really big, can produce uh, over 100 pounds of honey. Maybe average is more like 60. But last year we had one hive that produced over 100 pounds of honey. And the other uh, big thing that they produce is beeswax. So when you harvest the honey, you take the little cappings off and it gives you this gorgeous uh, wax, light colored wax. And so then we use that to make uh, skincare products. Everything in it is natural and good for your skin and actually very healing because I put uh, essential oils and those are plant extracts that the plants evolved over the years and their extract is very healing to your skin. Uh, bees really aren't, um, when they're out foraging, they're not out to sting you, they're out foraging. Um, so if you don't swat at them, and I know that's a hard thing not to do, when you start keeping bees you get used to it. So they can actually land on you or I can pick up a bee that's on the ground and it won't sting me. But as soon as you swat at it, it's going to see you as an enemy. It sees you as a threat, so it will sting you then. So they're not really out to do that. And um, this is an unincorporated area, so legally there's some places that you can keep bees in Southern California. The sustainable part is that we do compost. So when you pick a group of chard, then there's a lot of leaves that you don't want to eat, so I give them to the chickens. And then there's any kind of waste, the eggshells, coffee grounds, um, any kind of green thing goes into the compost along with horse manure and it makes the best soil. So I never have to fertilize. I just kind of, after that's all composted, put it, uh, I'm always putting it around the garden and it makes a real nice, rich, loamy soil for your vegetables. So it's just kind of going in a circle. I try and recycle everything, but um, I think my message would be to future generations, you always need to remember the simple aspects of life because I think they're very important.